January 2018, I wrote in my notes. I'm so frustrated. I hate that I'm still afraid. I can't pinpoint it to one specific time or comment or event. I can't really even explain how or why or when food became the enemy. I can't really say I remember a time in my life where I didn't hate my body or ever thought my body was enough. But I do remember hunger, guilt, shame, fear, obsessing, crying, calculating, regretting. I remember labeling hunger as strength, smaller as prettier. Less was always everything and more. I don't know if I'm okay now because there are still so many days where I don't really feel okay. I just want to eat and not hate my body afterwards. I want to be able to eat chocolate and drink smoothies and have baked goods and I just want food to stop taking over my life. I know I've come a long way, but I still have a long way to go. How strong am I really if I can't even handle looking at my own reflection? If the thought of eating a cookie makes me cry, if gaining weight means my life is over, how strong am I really? Eating some crackers! They're the new crispy Cheez-Its. Very crispy, very cheesy. The holidays hit especially hard for me, and I'm gonna tell you a story about juice to explain why. December 4th, 2013 was the day that saved my life. I remember it was on the fourth floor of the hospital. It was sometime later than 7 p.m., which was past the time I was allowed to eat. A nurse gave me a cup of juice. I hesitated for a minute. I felt every fiber in my body resist against that cup. It felt like hours went by. It was just me and this cup. This cup of juice meant I'd ruined my progress, my hard work. I told myself I couldn't, I wouldn't. But there was this little part of me. Maybe I didn't know it back then, but a part of me that wanted to get out of this life that I wasn't even really living. So I drank the juice. I'm not saying that I didn't freak out and probably cry and it took me four minutes to finish it, but that was the first of so many fear foods. I spent Christmas and New Year's and my birthday alone, eating, fearing, but drinking lots of juice. That was a gift in disguise. That was the beginning of repairing and discovering a healthy relationship with myself. Even nine years later, I can't say I'm 100% recovered. However, compared to my lowest point, juice is not my biggest fear anymore. It all starts with facing your fears. It starts with respecting your body. It starts with drinking the freaking orange juice. And something small but significant along this journey was clothing. Sounds silly, but on my worst body image days, clothing that fit right and made me feel confident helped me focus on fashion and celebrate my body instead of shaming it. Fashion was always a huge part of building confidence for me. And the place I've been a little bit obsessed with shopping recently is ThreadUp, an online thrift store. I just wanted to show you guys because a lot of my friends have been getting me into sustainable fashion and thrifting because it's better for the planet and the environment. You can find insanely unique pieces and ridiculous deals. For example, this Uniqlo long sleeve, comfy, casual, chill. I go to look for Zoom University with, you know, some sweatpants and fuzzy socks. My favorite color to wear is black. Six out of the seven days of the week, I'm wearing black, gone black, gone black, gone black. So this black turtleneck from Zara that I found on ThreadUp goes perfectly with the rest of my wardrobe. This tank top from Free People is so stretchy and so comfy and literally perfect for basically never leaving my house again this semester. It's okay. I'm freaking in love with this Free People blouse. It's estimated retail is $149. I got it on ThreadUp for $33.60. And it's perfect for, you know, maybe just a Dubai trip in the near future. Also, I love this rag and bone sweater. I love the colors, I love how warm it is, I love the softness, and I love how its estimated retail price was $428, and I got it for $88.99 on ThreadUp. You can get an extra 30% off your first order on ThreadUp and free shipping with my code. Okay, bye. Okay, think about your favorite holiday food. Maybe pecan pie, stuffing, sugar cookies. Think about eating that food right now. Do you feel excited, hungry, happy, or do you feel anxiety, guilt? Are you thinking about the calories, the fat, the carbs? Whether you exercise enough today, that's a fear food. No. Okay, like why did you decorate your plate like that? Because I love sriracha. But like why did you make it into like a design? Because I'm a freaking scientist. I asked you guys two questions on my Instagram the other day. What are your favorite holiday foods? And you guys gave me a beautiful mm. list filled with cake, pastries, and chocolate. And then I asked you guys for your holiday fear foods. And you gave me a list filled with cake, pastries, and chocolate. Ironic. Everything we love is everything we fear. At least it was for me. Oh like, we do have time to try to like fix this. No. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> my computer is actually eight minutes behind! Yay. Yay. Oh my god, let's eat! So yes, that's right. Other people might be starting January off with a juice cleanse and a workout program. Oh, thank you! But I ended and started the year by eating everything. Ice cream? After? Yeah. Oh, so spicy. Ah. Not just anything though, all the foods I love and everything I used to fear. Kind of a power move if I do say so myself. Lots of ice cream! 
We also got Cherry Garcia. Unpopular opinion, I think Cherry Garcia is the grossest thing I've ever had. I'm sure. Ooh, let me know what you think. <laughs> Never too full for ice cream. Oh, Kona duh. Yay. Cut a chunk. I freaking knew it, Bear and Jerry's wouldn't let me down. Mmm. Ooh. Wow. Josh and Megan. Trying out the Wheels of Time Season 1. Whenever the holidays were approaching, the lights went up, the radio started playing Christmas classics, people started baking cookies. What was I doing? I started planning, calculating, compensating, scheduling, which days I would restrict, what days I had to do more cardio, when I needed to start dieting. My mind was crowded with food choices, fear foods, body changes, weight, calories, 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 extra calories. I'm really excited. It's really early. It's time to go to my favorite place. I was too busy calculating how many cookies I'd eaten instead of actually enjoying the cookies being eaten. I was too preoccupied with making sure I didn't overload my plate. I forgot to look up from it at the people sitting around the table. But year after year, I stepped more and more outside my comfort zone. And my focuses became less and less focused on food and my body. We have to face fear foods like any other fear, which means we're gonna have to eat them if we're ever gonna wanna be free from them. Here are some things that I still do when food brings up old, unwanted feelings. It's not about planning what to eat, but planning your mindset. Food was just fuel, but now it's fuel for my body to survive, to grow, to study, and to feel, and to travel, and to create. It's fuel for me to enjoy life. You're allowed to eat foods just because they're delicious or emotionally nourishing, or fuel for a workout, or even if you aren't that hungry, or if you want to just feel healthy. Guys, you have unconditional permission to eat. It's too high calorie, I should eat something healthier, I shouldn't eat this after I ate that. In these moments, I've learned to think about all of the health benefits and life benefits instead. For example, there's so many nutrients, I'm listening to my body, it can help me live in the moment, it gives me energy, this is food freedom. Think about that instead. Oh my gosh, there is a forest on the table. I've been trying to figure out. So like, <laughs> it's been a really mentally draining four hours. I finally figured out what was wrong after literally taking every video out, deleting it, then re-importing it, re-deleting it, then re-importing it. And my brother Sam had a call with me literally the whole time trying to calm me down because I was just hysterically crying. Wasted four hours, not wasted, just like, anyways. I'm in a hotel room. It's really miserable outside. I'm just eating a bill bar because that's the only thing I want. Yeah, I eat like three of these every day. Kind of concerning, but they're so good. You know, I'm just gonna sit here for the next 10 hours, script my video, prepare for tomorrow's business class presentation, and order something delicious because I deserve it. Food, exercise, and weight is only one very, very small part of your life. So don't give it the power to take away all the parts of life and yourself that you love. I find reminding myself often of why I wanted to recover and why I continue helps. Such as, I like living. I like living fully. I like being in love with food, sharing food, bonding over food, getting way too excited about oats in the morning and one dollar donuts. Poke bowls may be my new obsession. Holy, why have I never eaten this before? By eating, I gain so much more than weight. My brain could think without feeling foggy. My heart could love openly. I could pursue my passions. I could have never started YouTube when all I could think about was planning my next meal. When your relationship with food is strong and stable, it makes every other relationship in your life that much easier. Community and connection are so important, but we can't wholly connect with others if we're distant from ourselves. Only when I started to want to recover is when I was finally able to become who I was. Because all I thought I was before was a body and a number. And it turns out, life is so much better than that. So what was my why? I see how much fuller and more complete my life is when food is in it. My why is me. Your why should be you, 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 and you. So I have class and a few presentations. I'm gonna get a bill bar. I'm really hungry. Unfortunately, I don't have a microwave, but it's still so glad. Mm. Also, this is my setup. Suitcase, laptop. As you can tell, nothing has changed because my obsession is still Built Bars. I don't know how they just keep getting better, but they do. Thank you, as always, Built Bar, for all the protein and sponsoring that portion of the video. Love you. 
I've realized that personally, I just can't be friends with anyone who knowingly or even unknowingly participates in diet talk or diet culture. People don't realize how damaging comments like, I've got to go exercise after eating all these Christmas cookies. I feel so fat after that meal. I really shouldn't be eating this. There are so many calories. It is to someone who has had an eating disorder or how it can impact someone's relationship with food. Over the years, I've learned I can't expect every person in my life to know what is okay and not okay to say. To know what's inside my head, it's a life they haven't lived. It's my own responsibility, actually, to filter the comments and reflect on how true they really are. If someone makes a comment on how much you're eating, remind yourself that everyone needs different amounts of food to feel satisfied. If someone makes a comment on how your body looks better, your body has changed, okay, take a deep breath, don't stress, and tell yourself you are so much more than what your body looks like. I'm feeling the jitters from drinking like four shots of espresso. I can't complain because that's literally my fault. And healthy for you is meant to look different year after year after year. That you're on a different journey than others and no one has to fully understand why but you. Food freedom is the goal, yet food freedom still looks different on every person. Mm. Oh my god, that's so good. Right okay. girl. Holiday season is diet culture season. It's a time that's filled with two very competing ideas. One, it's the holidays. Relax, rewind, eat all the amazing food. Life's too short, prioritize family and friends. That lasts for about three days until the new year, new me mindset settles in. The new year diet, the grind starts now. Burn off the holiday meal with this workout plan, glow up. Okay, you tell me, how am I supposed to enjoy time and food and family when the world's telling me over here, whatever my body looks like is not good enough for the new year. You're allowed to want to bulk or diet, or fast, or work out more, work out less, or eat less sugar, or eat more protein. Every body is worthy of the same love and appreciation. But we can appreciate and love our bodies and still want to change. It's not a crime, guys, to want abs, to lose weight, to exercise more, but it's not necessary either. It's kind of about your why. Why do you want to? Is it for you, or is it fit a standard? Is it out of guilt? Is it out of fear? That's what makes it right or wrong, not the goal itself. Someone will always think what you're doing is wrong. So that's a perfect excuse to focus a little less on everyone else and a little bit more on yourself. So I have class right now. I'm eating the remaining onion rings from yesterday. There are no rules for what time of the day you should be eating onion rings. Doggy onion rings, still good. Holy crap. It's not about beating who I was last year. It's about being more who I am this year doing more things that I love, taking better care of my mind, leaving old beliefs and habits and relationships in the past year behind me. Ooh, so thick. Understand the hype now. Living an active lifestyle looks different for everyone. Dancing with friends counts. Walks count. 10 minutes counts. One day a week counts. Stretching, exploring, grocery shopping, 60% effort, 30% effort, all counts. Priorities come in waves. Give yourself some credit and let yourself fall in love with movement this year in your own way, not just in the way that you think you're supposed to. And we're back to the same spot we always are. I ordered way too much for one person, but it doesn't matter. Scallion pancakes, cucumbers, got some fried rice. Mm. 2021 was beautiful and terrible and wonderful and painful and the biggest shit show all in one. Over this year, my weight has changed, my body and my pant size has changed, my hair has changed, my relationship status has changed, my self-worth has changed, it's all kind of a little unrecognizable. And I'm surprisingly not embarrassed or ashamed or angry at myself for any of it. It's always difficult leaving old versions of ourselves behind. But focus on what this new body, this new version of you allows you to do, to achieve, how full that is, how empowering it is. What I realized this year, you just can't fake healing or growth or love. No matter how many inspiring Pinterest quotes you try to integrate into your life or how consistently you go to the gym or how happy you look on social media, you have to feel it, not fake it to heal. No matter how much we don't want to. I learned that one day you're gonna look back and be happy that you did it, that you took the time to hurt and heal and fight and eat and gain weight and let go and be strong and hold on and believe. You will look back and be happy that you did it. Showing my setup here to all the boys I've loved before. I'm in a parking garage and I'm about to go home, but I ordered some sushi. <laughs> Yes. So you don't have to put so much pressure on yourself to become someone mm -hmm. else in the new year. Do you think you'd be where you are and who you are at the beginning of last year? 
well, did I think I'd get to meet Lily Sabri in person? Did I think I'd be banned from the US? Did I think I'd gain a best friend and break up with my closest friend and rekindle a high school friendship? Did I know that I'd be too scared to open YouTube or look at comments or even touch my computer? Did I know that I would finally not be scared of croissants? My socks smell gross. Did I know that I would gain 25 pounds and not hate myself? No, to all of the above. No. Oh my god. Custard bun is thick. You're not wrong. 2021 it's pink. was in too many ways absolutely horrendous. But it's hard to see how good life is when you're only looking for the negatives. When you take a few moments to remember the things you're thankful for, no matter how small, life becomes a little brighter. I don't have the ability to change what happened to me. What I'm scared of, the foods that bring me anxiety, the people that stay or leave, I can only change how it affects me moving forward. I either go with the changes or I go against them. I face the fears or I let them control me. I embrace the discomfort or I live in it. It's not always about changing our lives. It's about changing the way we react to the changes in our lives. Did you get that? <laughs> Every Christmas. Life is good. Brother. <laughs> nice shot. I love Christmas. Hello, friends. <laughs> hey. Yay. Cheers. I think cheers is yours. Mmm. Mmm. I'm sweating. Mmm. So good. Mm. You don't have to open it so slowly. <laughs> can you guess what it is? I can guess what it is. I thought it'd be oh, nice. Oh, it's too much. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm angry. <laughs> Guys, look at my new from the <gasps> beautiful. Wow. Guys, comment how pretty some they look. <laughs> Whoa. I made this, guys. Uh, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Expensive chocolate tasting time. Is that like fudge? I don't know what it is, but it's good. Ugh, it's bad. Not a fan of that one. No. Let me pick one. Okay, that one is good because it's wrapped in gold. Oh, that's freaking good. Yeah. I guess salad. Okay. Sourdough and jam is so good. You're watching Alita. Salad, salad. Pick up your glass. Twenty twenty two reminders. My body, my needs, my relationship with food is mine. Let's make some carrot cake. We have different appetites day to day, person to person. One day or meal or week of eating doesn't show the full picture. Oh, this is tablespoon. Oops. Okay. Pray this is a teaspoon. Being more like them won't help you feel better about you. Changing who you are to look like someone else only brings you further from who you actually are. 2022 will be about acceptance. Accepting my body's changes, my jiggles, my extra skin. Remember, there's more than just food and exercise that affects the way we look. We did a phenomenal job. And the ways we look does not in any way affect how deserving we are of eating the things we want. Thank you. Stressing, obsessing, hating on my body won't change my body. Think about that for a minute. It won't make me better or make people love me. It won't make me love me. So I might as well try to learn how to love myself as I am right now. Wait, wait, can I put a tidbit? Mm. Also, are we really digging that? Okay, one, two, three. Aww. Aww. Wait, okay, Jenny. Jenny. Cheers. Also, if we but Thanks, I thought. Girl. I Aww. Aww. Oh my God. I don't have any tweet. Holy. Holly, you're done. You're done. Energy bar, kid. We need to hype up our friend Rebecca, aka Becky. Tap the screen. No, no, no. The screen. The screen. You just. Oh. Okay. I'll start. I'll start. Take two. Guys, look it. Our friend um, Rebecca, aka Becky. Look at Christmas cards. Such love from my very talented friends. Oh, Bucky, the best Christmas gift ever. Give the babies back. Chocolate shoes.
Came in a little purse. Yes. And then inside, we got these bad boys. Derek Day. There we go. Take three. Best wishes, your friend Becky. Thank you. Who doesn't want to do it? Okay, Ultimate daily, our most complete supplement for a better you. A better you! Feel this! Feel this, feel this food. Vitamin D3 and K2, this is like every day. Yeah, you yeah, should do it too. Drops. You should do it too. You should do it too. All of us to be better healthy. This is <laughs> No, this is like for uh, this is like for oatmeal or something. For well, your tea obsession. Nice. Yeah, look at that shiny letter. Oh! It's like this silk ribbon. It's their puppy! Yeah. They're puppy! They're dogs! She got the season. Guys. I no! Know. I'm too no. excited. This is rare for Judy. I'm too excited. <laughs> I've been wanting this. I've been wanting this. Booty. Merry Christmas! Okay, Dinky Decker and Dee Claire. Nugget, Twisted Pearl. It kind of reminds me of an arrow bar. Spa. Ooh, look at an arrow bar again. You know, they remind me of Sado Soup. Sour cream and onion chip are the best. One, two, three. Happy birthday! It's so good! <laughs> oh they gathered by the sea. Oh no, stop it! Yeah, so that's just a cream of wheat, a little, oh. little bit of honey, and a little bit of uh, butter. I wrote this in my notes in January 2022. I want to take a minute and say a few things. This year, I think I may have met one of the most broken versions of myself. There was definitely a few too many tears, sad music playlists, a lot of me finally letting myself be broken and lost and alone, but I think I also met the strongest version of myself, the one that finally decided to pick herself, that stopped settling, that accepted her mistakes. Yeah, this is for stress relieving. You're giving me stress. Is a noise egg. Looks pretty fire. Also eating some grips. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh my god. And never gets old. I've been re-watching startup. Oh, this bite. Mm. Ooh. It's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. Some of this cheese. What's this? Smoke Buddha. Do I like that? Yeah. Do I like that? Yeah. Mm. You're right, I do like it. This looks like you like spit out in the morning. Do you ever get those like white things from your throat and they smell really bad? Little like chunks of like, no, but they're like thick. You can like smush it between your fingers. I've never had that. I don't know what you have. I'm <laughs> deadly. No, I know it's not just me. You don't very confident there. To all of you, look back and realize how brave and strong and resilient you've been. Every time you said one more bite, tomorrow will be better, I'm okay. Even when that bite felt like the end of the world, even if tomorrow wasn't any better, even when you weren't really okay. You're here today. You smiled again. You're finding your strength. Things are falling into place even though you don't feel like Ooh. it is. I like it. was sweet. So thank yourself for not giving up. You see, I didn't enter this space as a creator, but it kind of shaped me into one. I didn't enter this space with the voice of an influencer, but I found one as I grew and as I healed. And the space helped me realize that even though I'm not healed, I'm still accepted. I've never really felt like that before because I never once gave myself that acceptance. So don't you ever feel ashamed of all the unhealed parts of you. We can borrow strength from those around us until we're strong enough to give it back. So I want to take this time to thank you for 2021 for letting me borrow your strength. You've helped me get through a time I didn't know how to get through. Oh, look, at, that was a, did you get that? Yeah, I did. That was really good. It's kind of weird. I feel like you guys are always here with me. You guys are here with me when I stand from the mirror and want to change everything I see. You're here when I stop a workout half way through to listen to my body. You guys are there when I choose life. I choose happiness, I choose fullness, I choose to film, I choose my body. I choose recovery even when a part of me doesn't want to. Oh my god, it's so moist. These are from, I guess, from my baby kid, the kid over there. <laughs> Life is good. You guys helped me choose me, so 
I hope you choose you too. The recovery process, whether we like it or not, is forever. But eventually, it's simply a part of life and not life itself. I've come a long way and I still have a long way to go. And that's something that no longer scares me but excites me. There are so many adventures and relationships and celebrations and milestones and workouts and almond croissants and oats and protein bars that I'll get to experience because I chose to drink the orange juice. Recovery, it's all worth it. So I'm gonna end it off here. Please take care of yourselves, challenge yourselves. Don't forget to check out ThreadUp and get an extra 30% off your first order with my code. And I love you guys so much. I'll see you soon. That's when I do